Hey everyone, in this video we're looking at rounding decimals. So we're looking at different strategies in order to round decimals. Um, this links very much so to previous stuff that you may have done with um, whole numbers. So it's still important to identify your place value um, of the value that you're looking at or the number you're looking at. Decide whether to round based on the values and decide, um, state what the rounded value is. So if we have a look at rounding is um, giving an answer to a certain number of places. And a decimal is the representation of a part of a whole. So our decimal is like our point of division between large whole numbers or our whole numbers and our um, numbers that represent part of a whole. So my hands being where the decimal indicates um, that point. Sorry, pardon me. So in rounding decimals, you're always going to look at the first digit after the number of decimals required. So if we refer to previously when you would round to like the nearest 10 you would take a number and you would look at this number because this is your tens and this is your ones and you'll say well four is less than five so the closest um tens is 10. If it was 15 it would be uh 20 and if it was um 16 it would be 20 as well because you're rounding to the nearest tens and it's the same with decimals so if it says to you to round to one decimal place you're going to look at the second number or the number after that so the second number for that so one decimal place would be this one so you would look at this number here uh, two decimal places look at this number three decimal places that one and so forth so rounding to the nearest number uh, round to the following number uh, round the following numbers to the nearest decimal place, uh, the number of decimal places. You get what I'm trying to say, yes? All right, so I'm going to look at two. So they're the two numbers I need to look at. This is the one that decides whether we are going to round up or it stays the same. So this is a one, it's less than five. I write the number without any changes, 3.64. Again, we go through this process. Look at the third because it's two decimal places but this time my number is five or more so I'm going to round up so that gives us 18.97 this one is four decimal places so I look at the fifth number one two three four five that is a seven it means that this is going to round up but when we round up that goes to zero which means that it's um, now carrying over because there are ten at uh, one two tens hundreds thousands ten thousands ten ten thousands which means that we can trade up to the next um place value which is our thousands so that becomes uh twenty seven point four six uh three zero because we've rounded up and the next one here is three decimal places one two three and we're looking at the fourth number that is a nine so again we're rounding that up and that's going to be zero point which means that you round up this one and it's going to be zero one so nine one um so zero round up again one so zero one zero so there's our three decimal places okay so what i would like you to do now is have a turn pause the video and follow how to round the following to two decimal places and then what the brackets indicate here. Thank you everyone, have a good one. 